really nice to meet you. My name is Miss Kinnon. I'll be your case manager today. I'm Miss Kinnon. I'm Anna Williamson. Nice to meet you. First of all, I'm going to go over um, your confidentiality before we begin our um, interview. Okay, let's do it. As a licensed professional counselor in the state of Texas, I am bound by the Texas Administrative Code Chapter 681 and the Health and Safety Code Chapter 611. And according to these rules, information obtained in a counseling session or in written form will not be disclosed to any outside person, persons or agency without your written permission, except when such disclosure is necessary to protect you or someone else from your mental harm or is otherwise legally required or allowed by law, such as abuse or neglect of a child under 18, elder, or disabled person. This notification may include notifying the victim, notifying the police, or seeking appropriate hospitalization. I may also be required to provide information to the court and provide a court order. If a client files a workers' compensation claim or disability claim, I must, upon appropriate request, provide records relating to treatment or hospitalization for which compensation is being sought. If any of the above situations arise, I will make every effort to fully discuss it with you before taking any action, and I will limit my disclosure to what is necessary. If you are under 18, your parents or legal guardians may have access to your records and may authorize release to other parties. If I run into you outside of the counseling office, I will protect your confidentiality and wait for you to acknowledge me should you do so. Um, is there any questions or concerns you may have about this? Um, so you basically just can't tell anybody what we're going to talk about unless it's pretty much an emergency or the court orders it or something like that. Well, um, if you are, it's, if you harm yourself or others, um, or if you're... Like if I want to commit suicide or something? Yes. Um, or if you, if it's required by law, the court order, something of that, of those lines, or if you abuse or neglect the child or elder or disabled person. Those are the only ways um, we can break your confidentiality. Okay, I see. So let's begin. Um, if you want to tell me a little bit about yourself and what brought you here today? Um, my drug addiction is what actually brought me here today. I've been struggling to stay clean for about 12 years now. Um, I want to be clean. I've been trying to stay sober, but sometimes things happen and it doesn't end up that way. So. I want to end up clean for my family and me and my daughter. Well, that's a very good start. Um, it's a process, though, and, and just so you know, it's um, very complex, and you're not, it's not going to happen right away, um, but we can help you get through this, and we have uh, various resources that we have available for you um, so that you don't feel discouraged, you don't feel, you know, like you want to give up. Um, there are some, some of the resources we have are um, there's rehabilitation um, facilities, seeking counselor guidance, seeking a psychiatrist, or seeing a doctor for possible medications that maybe you need a prescription for. Um, those are just some of the, the many that we have um, you know, available for you. Oh, that's great. I'll check into that. Have you ever received psychological or psychiatric counseling services before? No, I've never received those types of services, but I was thinking maybe I would like to see a psychologist or a therapist about my issues and maybe find out why um, my drug use is so often and so much. Okay. Um, have you taken any medications for psychiatric or emotional problems? Um, well, my doctor did give me some Balta a few months back, and I was taking it. It was actually helping a lot, but I mean, the medication just got so expensive and I couldn't take it anymore. Okay. Well, just so you know, um, there are services available out there for you that um, can help you cover these expenses. Um, if you need any help with that, we can assist you or help you out to get started. But um, there is Medicaid, Social Security. You may want to look into those, just so you know. Sure, I'll take that into consideration. Okay. And um, have you ever been abused in any kind of way? Or if you were, can you tell me what type of abuse? Um, no, I haven't been abused. Okay. Have you ever experienced any type of trauma? There was an incident where I did have an accident. It was around this time last year where I was on the freeway going 80 and a guy had hit me with his car, which caused my car to flip, which uh, I flew out the window. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Um, do you think this incident has affected you in any aspect of your life? Um, yes. Once... Uh, after the car wreck, the doctor would give me many painkillers to 
help with all the head injuries that I had. And I think that when, well, I know that when he gave me all those medications, I started abusing them. And then I became dependent on them, which brought up another um, addiction, a different one with a different drug. Okay. Have you experienced um, any other type of trauma other than that? Or... Um, no, that's been pretty much it, I believe. How much beer, wine, um, or hard liquor do you consume do you on an average um, weekly, daily? I would say in a week, probably about a case or a little bit more a week, mm -hmm. about 24 beers, maybe 30. Okay. And how much tobacco do you smoke or chew each week, if any? Um, I've been a tobacco user for a long time, since I was about 13, so probably about two packs a day, which would be about 14 packs a week. Okay. Yeah. I've been trying to quit, but it's hard. It's very hard. Yes, it's a process. Um, can you tell me what type of drugs, not medication prescribed to you that you have used in the last 10 years? Um, there's been quite a few. I've dealt with Xanax, marijuana, ecstasy, LSD, heroin, uh, crystal meth, crack, cocaine, mushrooms, Loraset, GHB, uh, ketamine, uh, Glodokin, Oxycontin, Valium, uh, Hash, and Morphine. I think that's, that's about all of them. And is this consistently, or is it just, you know, you've tried them, or do you start Those are all the ones that I've tried. My main drug of choice would be probably crystal meth, Xanax, marijuana, and cocaine. Those are my favorites. Okay. Those are the ones that I struggle with the most. Okay. Um, are you presently um, suing anyone or thinking of suing anyone at the moment? No. And what is your reason for coming to see me related? I mean, is it related to any accident or injury of any type? No, I'm here just to try to get rid of my drug use. Okay. Are you required by court, police, or probation, parole officer to have this appointment? No. Can you tell me um, contact with the police, courts, jails, prisons you have had, and include any all open charges and pending ones? Um, I did have a possession of a controlled substance, uh, possession of a dangerous drug, possession of marijuana, uh, a driving while intoxicated, a prostitution, and driving with a suspended license. Are there any other legal involvements that you know about? Uh, no, that's it. Can you tell me um, if there's any diseases, illnesses, important accidents, injuries, surgeries, hospitalizations, periods of loss from consciousness, seizures, or any type of medical um, conditions you have? I did have my first seizure um, around this time last year, and I had been taking a lot of Xanax that week, and I one day just quit cold turkey, and it made me have a seizure. And since then, have you had any any type of seizure or any other issues with that? No, I haven't. That's been my only one. Okay. Um, do you have any allergies? Um, nope. None, none that I know of. Can you tell me um, any medications or drugs you have taken in the last year, either prescribed, over-the-counter, or any other? Um, I was taking the Cymbalta for my depression. I have been taking Xanax for my anxiety. And the Vicodin for the painkillers. I mean, for the pain. Okay. And were those prescribed by the doctor or by another? Those, doctor? yes, but I was still abusing them after I had the prescription. Okay. Have you done any kind of work where you were exposed to toxic chemicals? Um, no, not that I know of. Do you have family history for any medical or major illnesses? My father did have, uh, he suffered from alcoholism. Okay. And other than that, is there any other, um, Medical illnesses or major illnesses in the family? No. Okay. Um, can you tell me your physician's name at the moment? Yes, it's Dr. Rich. Okay. And uh, what kind of physical exercise do you get, if any? Um, well, I'm not into like uh, hardcore weightlifting or cardio, intense cardio. I just tend to walk around a lot. Okay, that's good. I like to be outdoors. How much coffee, cola, tea, or caffeine do you consume daily? I would say about three Cokes a day and about five or six coffees. Okay. 
And do you try to restrict your eating in any way, and if so, how and why? Um, no, I pretty much don't eat very much. I can go days without eating, so if I feel that I'm hungry, I definitely eat. Okay. Do you have any problems getting enough sleep, or do you not sleep at all? Um, my sleeping, uh, arrangements aren't like most people. I go probably about five or six days at a time without sleeping, and then I'll sleep for about two days. Oh, okay. Do you have any sexual problems with your sex? Um, I tend to be very sexually active, more than most people I know anyway. Can you tell me um, any or in all pregnancies, miscarriages, and abortions you have had? Um, yes, I've had two abortions, two miscarriages, and I have also had uh, three kids, one which I have, or my mom has, and then two which I had to give up for adoption. Um, have you started menopause, and if so, what age did you start, and what sign of your symptoms have you had? No, I don't have menopause. Okay. Um, can you tell me about any other medical, physical problems you can see in the body? Um, yes, I've gotten staff quite a bit in the past, uh, maybe like six years. I give it, get it every three or four months. Okay. I don't know why, I just keep getting it. Okay, well... Maybe we can um, talk to your doctor about that and get a checkup and see what's going on. Um, are there any other concerns, questions, comments you have for me today? Um, no. Okay, well that'll be all for today. Um, I will let you know when your next appointment is and I'll follow up with you on that and see where we're at at this point. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Nice meeting you.